Over 300 teams start the season with hopes of making it to the NCAA tournament, but only 64 lucky teams received an invitation. These teams start their journey down the road to the Final Four in today's game between the Asheville Bulldogs and the UCLA Bruins. Both teams need to forget about the wild crowd here and play basketball. The Bruins are looking to make this one a blowout early. What are the keys for tonight, Dick? Yeah, a night like this, the keys are pretty simple, Brad. First, reward your big man for working hard down low. Get him the ball, baby. If he has position, get the rock to him immediately. Second of all, win the battle on the glass. That's going to be huge tonight. Boy, that stat at the end could be a big one. Lastly, execute defensively. Don't get caught going for the big steals or the big blocks. I couldn't agree more with you, partner. Let's get down to the court and join the action. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper for the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Thinks about the shot. The pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. I tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move, and he does it exceptionally well. Dumps it in on the inside. As you would say right here, Mr. Vitale, flop city! I tell you one thing, absolutely a flop. No doubt, Mr. Nestler. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? On the outside. For two. Perfectly executed. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect for saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Unloads a three. Sinks the shot. Look to get it to the inside. Great play to take that to the basket. Buckles is animated and ready to go. Yeah, no kidding, partner. When you have some success, you start to gain some confidence. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. He makes the shot. Well, that's good defense, a steal on the inside. Oh, what a way to force the turnover. Great anticipation by the post play. They're lighting it up from the field right now, Dick. They're in a dangerous rhythm, my friend. Dangerous. Dangerous for the defense if they keep it up. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you've got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Hunt handles the pass. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Russell receives the pass. Kicks it out. He unloads. Off the rim and no good. Working it around the perimeter. Harm and foul. Oh, and this packed house is showing their appreciation for their team. Well, there's euphoria out there. They're really excited. They're going bananas. Look at that spacing. Here's a flash from the high post. Throws it up. The ball goes out of bounds. Oh, and look at the crowd and look at the reaction. I did the whole fans are going crazy. There's jubilation. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. Trying to feed inside. 
He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Awesome ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. That's an 8 nothing run. Trying to go inside. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. That's a 10 0 run. Players got a much needed breather with that timeout. The defense senses a five second call. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. out of play. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? UCLA are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. Terrible execution on offense. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. The skip pass is picked off. Moving it around the perimeter. There's the pick. Tries for two. The Bulldogs have got to continue to get him the ball. And he's on fire. I want to thank you for joining us tonight with Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. I'm Brad Nessler. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Looking for a good shot with a deep shot from outside. He gets it to go. And a momentary look from three-point land. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Rice receives the ball. Here's a double team. Hunt handles the feed. For two, perfectly executed. Diggy's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. He uses the shot fake. Goes up for two. What do you think, Dick? They need a timeout here, Brad. Up and inside. He's got some room. He unloads a three. He nails the shot. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. Has a nice look at the basket. Outside jumper. Off the mark with that shot. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Mm. 
Try to stay with him defensively. Down he goes. Oh, what an acting job. There's no doubt in my mind he's flopping, baby. Too much. That's a foul. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. With the freebie. Makes the first. And he doesn't miss that opportunity either. Double team now, bad angle. And they get the turnover. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He fires it up, way off target. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Stolen away. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. UCLA are doing a nice job of putting a solid run together here. Hey, they're really starting to click on offense. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. He's pounding the ball with a deck. Where's he going? They get the ball down low, and he hips up with his man, and down he goes. Hey, Brad, that's a flop. That's Mr. Flop right there. Don't call that, baby. Now they work it around the perimeter. They work it around the perimeter. He shoots from left of the circle. He buries the shot. Spin moves not going to work against this defense. That's a no no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. It'd be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. Right now, it's a one man show. The other players need to step up. Steals a pass. the feed down low now the turnaround jumper and off the mark Marshall fakes the shot that one's blocked from behind great rotation by the D I love it fast break opportunity here Conley pounded on his way up oh, he's having fun with the opponent's stick he sure is but he better make sure that he doesn't cross the line Goes to the line. Makes his first. And he got them both. That's seven unanswered. Entry pass in the paint. There's a double team waiting there. And back they come the other way. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. On the dribble, gives it up. 
Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Picked off. Wow, what hops, baby, what hops. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. That's an 11 0 run. How out of the timeout, Brad? Got the high pick. Cross court. He puts up the three ball. Off the rim and no good. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Fakes the jumper. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, the leading team down here is very relaxed. I'm down by their bench, and the coaches are reminding them, despite the score, try and remain focused. Remember, it's the first half. Anything can happen, guys. Work it around the arc. Got it in the low block for the bucket. He puts it in with contact and all. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? That was a great, great effort right there, trying to play that passing lane, anticipating really well. Goes for the steal down low, and he didn't get it. I tell you, he took a chance, and he lost, baby. Looking for a good shot as the chance persists. It really is something, isn't it? On the outside. Takes away the pass. Slam jam, bam! Up and away, the elevator man. They love it. Pass in the paint. He goes with a baby hook. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. And now they'll bring it up from the top of the key. They let him get into a rhythm. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. And that's going to be an offensive foul for sure. What a great job defensively. What a super job. Great footwork. And he really draws the charm. Trying to draw the foul. Man, he ran his man right into the screen to get off that nice jumper. Picks off the pass. Gave it up. 
They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. On the dribble. Gives it up. Shoots it. Way off target. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Gave it up. Picked out of the air. Here they go into the break. For two, he gets another shot off and in. Hey, this show is about to start, Brad. The Bruins will have their fans going silly if they can get a stop here. There they come with a double team to stop it. Turnover City now always really the gate. Any offense. You can't get away with that. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. This is the team's first trip to the free throw line. First one, good. It's two at the charity strike. On the dribble, gives it up. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Stolen. He shoots from outside. Goes in. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I'm telling you, three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job of post position of spreading his body and getting the ball. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Trying to draw some contact. We get another look. Terry look from three-point land. They work the perimeter. Up fake. Stolen away. He was applying great pressure defense. Went for the steal, but he wound up with a personal foul instead. That's why some coaches don't like it when players go for the steal. They end up with fouls or in foul trouble. He's got a high post flasher. There's the fake. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. They say forget about it. And then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. <laughs> Moving it around the perimeter. He's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. To the line. Makes the front end of the one and one. They're nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vital. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. He sinks it. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. Looking for a good shot. Gave it up. He's going nowhere. Ball going stolen. Nowhere. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. Here's a double team. Good job defensively. Leaning in. 
and try to draw contact. Perfectly executed. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground there. Doing a great job. I'll tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Goes for the deep one. Nice shot. <laughs> Two for one opportunity. Gives it up. Double team now. Bad angle. He comes away with it. Goes up for two. And he scores it off the glass. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. It's good. the perimeter takes the pass in the paint pandemonium has taken over Pauly pavilion look out i think it's important to get to the free throw line brad it demonstrates that you're playing aggressively and that you're not settling for the jumper misses gave it up the long bomb off the rim and no good at the half the Bruins are up by four Nick we've got a close one here tonight my friend give us your highlight of the night so far I think the kind of highlight that only a coach can love Brad his team working the ball down low to their big man for the inside basket it's time to get back to the court Dick and see how their second half plays out UCLA displayed a spectacular shooting performance, Dick, in that first half. Indeed, Brad. I predict the defense will come out and really be a lot sharper in the second half. They better be ready to play. Let's check in with Erin Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Erin. Well, Brad and Dick, as you can imagine, both coaches were very intense as I met with them at halftime. They said at this point, it all comes down to playing their game, having fun, and enjoying the moment. Guys? Thanks, Aaron. He wants a three. That was nice. Tries for two. The Bruins have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Tries the three ball. Oh, yes! He intercepts it. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. You bet. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Transition opportunity coming up. Barry's at home. That's basic. He shoots from the angle. The Bruins have found a player who cannot seem to miss Dick. Brady's on fire. Now they work it around the perimeter. Didn't give it to him down low. Going the other way. Tries to get the D to bite. He fires from long range. Way off target. 
Hickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I think doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Russell receives the pass. He shoots off the rim and no good. Working it around the perimeter. The center takes the feed from the top of the key. There's a double team waiting there. Trying to come up with a steal, and they do. Goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. Oh, a terrific job on the defense to beat him in the spot, Mr. Nestler. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Picked off. Pushes it up. This team right now just lighting it up from everywhere. Hey, they're fighting each other in rhythm with their passing, Brad. That makes a huge difference in how shooters shoot. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the grade with a rejection. And the ball goes out of bounds. Those are the types of plays you want a lot of. These kids are on a roll. Look at them celebrating with one another. Hey, Brad, the kids are fired up and having a lot of fun. How can you not love college basketball? The chance, the dedicated followers, their tradition. There's no other sport like it, Dick. I love it, Brad. Only in college basketball, baby. Only in college basketball. And a momentary look from three-point land. For the deuce, the land. On the outside. Rice commits his last personal. Dick, how's that backcourt comparison shaping up, do you think? Hey, Brad, that's a question that these coaches should be asking themselves. How can they, as coaches, get the most out of their guards? Are they quick enough to pressure the opponent, or offensively, can they create off the dribble? To me, it's about finding the weaknesses and attacking them. Got them both. Oh, he drained it. That's a nylon NBN. Ouch. That's what I call a hard screen. There they come with a double team to stop it. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Ball was knocked loose, but the offense got it back. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really doesn't. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Throws it right away. Great steal. Fakes the shot. Turnaround jumper. And in and out. That'll be a goaltending violation. NC Asheville are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they to keep pushing and seeing if they can't force a timeout. The Bruins' composure is falling even as we speak, Dick. Hey, they're doing things that a JV team wouldn't do. Emotionally, they are definitely down. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job. Block shot. Great recovery after the rebound. That's how you stop the fast break. And the ball goes out of play. Points off turnovers, Dick. A stat I know coaches pay a lot of attention to. Hey, Brad, it sure is. You want to limit your opponent's number of points off turnovers. Ultimately, you want to nullify the easy baskets. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Picks off the lazy pass.
Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Looking for a good shot. Launches the three. Makes it. Take a look right here. This defender is resilient. Still applying pressure. He lets it go. Off the rim and no good. The power forward handles the feed. Stolen. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help some. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. The ball goes out of bounds. He's got the man in the high post if he can get it there. Kicks it out. He shoots from downtown. Poor decision there to shoot that three. Yeah, that's horrible, Mr. Nestler. Horrible shot selection. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Here makes a great move to draw the foul. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing. They bring a lot of spirit. Ears goes to the line for the first time. No good. Not a very good night at the line, Dick. Absolutely no excuse for that, Brad. No excuse. Second shot, no good. They haven't been able to put it in from the line all night. Hey, this is how you win ball games, guys. Working around the perimeter on the dribble, gives it up. Here's a double team. He strips in clean. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you've got to get help because you've got to see Brawl Man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. Slaps the rock out of there. Gave it up. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Puts it up, looking for contact. To the line, shooting one. Makes the shot. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Pump fakes. And he'll kick it back outside. Puts it up. The Bruins have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. 
Well, guys, down here on the sidelines, there is such intensity from both benches. Both coaches are emphasizing shot selection and defensive stops. So important here in the second half. Thanks, Aaron. The Bulldogs have quite a few seniors in their lineup, which definitely is to their benefit. It is, Brad. Seniors may be the only reason why coaches sleep at night. They really make bad decisions, and you can trust them on a the court. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Oh, what a great job transition. Offense. Poor job defensively. You don't get back, don't stop the ball. And they were allowed to convert, get the number game going. Gonna kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. Nice ops. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works for two. I love the sky hook. You cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brad, why don't more guys use him? Look at that spacing. On the dribble, gives it up. Intercepted. They work it around the perimeter. Clinton handles the pass for the bucket. And off the mark. Reverses the ball after having a guy in the post. Tempo to game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Fast break possibility coming. Goes up for two. Gave it up. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. They work the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. He takes the three. Tickles the twine. That's a seven-zip run. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft is melted, fading away, impossible to block. Gave it up. On the dribble, gives it up. Got a guy right on him. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Ten seconds to get a shot off. Conley receives the ball. He lets it fly. That's an ill-advised shot. I don't think that's the guy you want shooting from the three-point line. And I can guarantee you that he's not the guy they want shooting the ball. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. Turnaround jumper. UCLA are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. In the paint. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. There's the pick. There's the roll. The Bruins are up by seven. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Dumping inside. Great defense. Here we go on the break. And a 
Momentary look from three-point land. Great play to take that to the basket. The power forward with the ball. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. That spin move's not going to work against the defense I like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Let's it fly. He shows the sweet touch. This time, Dip. You never know what's coming, Brad. Now they're working around the perimeter. Time to pick up the defense here now. He'll attempt two shots. Makes the first. They have found their stroke at the strike tonight, Dick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. He misses it. He pulls it down. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Gave it up. On the dribble, gives it up. For two, the Bulldogs have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Brady's on fire. He intercepts it. Nice job there by the defense, knocking the ball loose, then getting possession. Steals the ball. He runs with it. He drains it. Can their defense get him back in the game, Dick? I'll tell you, it's going to be a long hike back, Brad. Working it around the perimeter. He launches the bomb. He nails the shot. He takes some pride on the defensive end. Looks at a three. He gets that one to fall. If you watch it again, it's even better. Shaving up to be a barn burner, Dick. In close games like this, Brad, offensive and defensive execution is very important. In the paint. Double team now, bad angle. Strips the ball. On the outside. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. He shoots from the elbow. Good. Dick, this crowd will go silly if they can get some points this trip. They work the perimeter. The shooting guard takes the pass for the bucket. 
I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. It's a five-point ball game. That's not a lot of points to be down with this much time, Brad. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Five points separate these two squads right now. No one's leaving this building without a fight, Brad. The point guard gets the ball. Three-pointer gets it to go. Controlling the ball. The small forward gets the pass. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Time out on the court, so let's go court side. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, at this point in the game, it's about being on the same page. Each player should know what the objective is for the upcoming possession. Offensively, you must know who the number one option is, while defensively, the type of defense you're going to play or whether to foul. Time is of the essence, Brad. All right, thanks, Aaron. Well, let's see who will benefit the most out of that timeout, Dick. We've got ourselves a dandy here, folks. The lead has been trimmed to four. He takes the shot. He gets it to go. There's the trap. Got a wide open look. Brunson and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. I think they're too cautious too early, Dick. What do you think? I think you're right, Brad. Just like in boxing, you don't get the decision by running from your opponent in the 12th round. It's down to a one-point game, Dick. Yes, sir. This is where the big boys start to play, Brad. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He gets the bucket to fall. Can we expect a little change in direction here, Dick? I wouldn't be surprised if the schemes change somewhat. That bucket cuts the lead to one. I told you there was a lot of time. They have to foul to put them on the line. I hope they miss. Well, Mr. Vitale, there's the foul situation so far. Hey, Brad, staying out of foul trouble, then the stretch of any game is vital. You want to keep your opponents off the free throw line and out of bonus situation. And here's a look at the foul situation. Well, Brad, following and knowing when the foul is an important part of the game. If you have fouls to give, sometimes it's better to commit one rather than giving up an easy basket. Makes the front end of the one and one. Makes the second shot. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. They shave the lead down to three. There's a lot of time to pull this one out, Brad. With a deep shot from outside.
get a feeling they've changed things up a little bit, Dick. We'll see what they come up with, Brad. Dick, looks like we're staying for a while. I'm not going anywhere. This is what it's all about, Mr. Nestler. Add extra time to the clock. At the end of regulation, these teams are all even. Dick, this is everything we can ask for. It's everything that basketball fans across the country can ask for. NCAA tournament game and overtime. I tell you, we got two evenly matched clubs that have really responded. The PTPers are playing well. The stars, the coaches have their teams prepared. And it's all going to get down, I believe, to the free throw line at the end of this game. Got a man in high post. Picks off the pass. Brad, this place will be dusty if they can score here. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I'll tell you, three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job of post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. Rims out. On the outside. Here's a flash from the post up high. Gave it up. Takes the pass in the paint. And he scores despite the half. Now the high screen. Basket falls despite the contact. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Jumped in front to take it away. For the deuce. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. He's taken too many unnecessary shots, Dick. And he's costing his team their rhythm. Kick it back outside. Picked off. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Moving it around the perimeter. Picked out of the air. Goes up for two. Easy one. it up in the paint for two with a layup trying to get that ball movement get that good spacing for the bucket great play to take that to the basket now working around the arc top of the circle they work it around the perimeter perfectly executed they cut the lead to two. Hold on to your seat, Mr. Nestler. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Gave it up. They move it into the front court. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Very soft defensively. No pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Timeout. Let's check in with Aaron, who's standing by. Brad and Dick with limited time remaining. The coaches will have to figure out their offensive and defensive strategies for the next few possessions. What they will discuss or fail to discuss during this timeout could be the difference. Guys? Thanks, Aaron.
Play about ready to resume. Five second call approaching. Set that screen away. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Change might be in order, don't you think, Dick? I wouldn't be surprised if they changed things up a little bit, Brad. Tries for two. Finger roll. My post screen, gonna use it. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Great play to take that to the basket. Right now his team in front by two. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal them off. And yet another foul. Hey, now it's a matter of clock management, Brad. They have to foul in order to get back in this game. Well, Mr. Vitale, there's the foul situation so far. Hey, Brad, staying out of foul trouble, then a stretch of any game is vital. You want to keep your opponents off the free throw line and out of bonus situations. Hits that one. A Buccaneers crucial. On the dribble, gives it up. He puts it up. He's money with a shot. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. Nobody likes this point of the game, and the losing team is fouling in order to stop the clock. Well, Dick, there's a look at the foul situation. Well, you know, Brad, a lot of times the first team to the bonus will get the advantage. That means they're playing aggressive basketball. It means they get to the charity strike quicker and have an opportunity to rack up some easy points. up again and we're back to a two-point game working it around the perimeter the ball goes out of play this is a point in the game where a turnover like that can send you to your grave dick yeah Brad and the grave is probably a safer place than the locker room for the guy who made that turnover if they lose Dick, let's take a look at right now at our backcourt production. Hey, team success depends on backcourt production, Brad. If you can handle the rock, make good decisions, penetrate, and knock down the open jumper, you give yourself a great opportunity to get to the winner's circle. He makes his second shot. They're nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vitale. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. change in the game plan right now, Dick. Could be. Got to be ready for anything if you're the opposition. He had to hurry, that one. Misses from long range. Dick, you've said it so many times, survive and advance. Well, one survived and will advance. The other one's going home. Well, the better team won because they protected the basketball. They made sure they converted on the free throw line. They did all the little intangibles we talked about. And that was the difference in the game. NC Asheville played exactly the type of game they need to get past their first round opponent. Mr. Nestler, if they can execute the way they did today, are you kidding me? Nobody will stop them heading into the second round. Brad Nestler saying so long for my partners Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. Thanks for joining us.